Hello and welcome to the wonderful world of Overwatch. Here is our suspect. He is 21. Damn, son. <laughs> He's got 21 kills and uh, 15 deaths here. I was just seeing if he was a top player, but he's not. Oh, he's a top fragger by quite a decent margin right there next to Iguana, but let's see what he does here. Seems like he knows that guy's there. That was... Hmm. <laughs> that was weird. 70% headshot rating, so... Eh. A little bit... A little bit iffy there. But let's not jump to conclusions. He could be a smurf. And 70% headshot rating is not out of the question. He's gonna be saving his gun here, at least trying. Alright, so they're all coming down banana here, and he is... More than likely fucked unless he, you know, aim boss and toggles on and just destroys them all. Pre-fired that guy, but he did hear him coming, so that's pretty easy to time. To Turns his back to them. They know he's here. His crosshair placement is pretty bad so far. And he brings it up when he knows a guy's gonna be there. So I mean it is a little bit a little bit fishy. Smoke. Alright, he's running right down here. It looks like they are ecoed. CTs are having a pretty pretty bad time here, because well they're obviously being carried pretty fucking hard. Wow. Terrorist team is actually doing quite well. Compared to this team. Whiffed. Whiffed. Okay, he got him finally. He did trace a little bit there, but I mean, that wasn't like super blatant. Obviously, he knows this guy's here. He dies. Okay, okay. Okay, so he pops out of smoke and he retreats. Let's see what he does. Pretty standard angle to hold. Gonna throw this, yeah, he's gonna throw it on smoke. It's flashed. Smoke. If he fires as soon as this guy like kind of peeks his corner smoke. through the smoke, then I'm gonna be like, yeah, this guy's a little bit fishy. But his crosshair placement is pretty bad. Alright, there it is. I'm gonna go with this guy is wall hacking. He's not being super duper duper obvious about it, but that was what kind of sealed the deal for me right there. I mean, he's not sort of tracing people. He did trace to that car a little bit, but that was kind of just, you know, kind of just seemed like he was aiming at the area that the guy was going to be, I guess, if that makes sense. But as soon as that guy peeked through the smoke, he just shot. And I personally couldn't hear the guy, but I mean, it's, it's a little bit, a little bit fishy-wishy here. All right. Let's see if he runs right towards this guy that's walking, unless his teammate sees him first, which his teammate is going to... Yeah, there it is. And this guy's running down banana. Oh, hit half speed there. Guy shot at him so he knows he's there, obviously. Teammate nearly took him out. The guy's going to be saving his gun. Alright. So yeah, I mean, there's just three or four things that sort of lead me to believe that this guy is hacking. That one part where he just kind of aimed at the guy that was sitting by where Bench is, and the guy didn't make a sound. The part where he kind of traced through the wall there, like at the car, I mean, again, that wasn't like enough to seal the deal for me, but it was sort of, it added a little bit. And then that shot through the smoke there as the guy peeked the corner, just shot him perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. This guy is cheating. <laughs> he has a pretty high headshot percentage, too. I mean, it, it doesn't seem like he's aimbotting, but he could be. He could be using a, uh, what's it called? A trigger bot, excuse me. 
But those are really super difficult to tell, especially on 16 tick. They're all rushing here. I'm gonna have to go with anti-recoil on that. It didn't seem like he was pulling down or to the left slash right at all. He just kind of perfect headshots. I'm gonna go with aim assistance there. Yeah. Nice ace, bro. You guys may disagree, but I think this guy is using a trigger bot slash anti-recoil, because that was just... That was absurd. <laughs> I mean, you don't peek this with a nade like that. You throw it and bounce it. Alright. At least we have a decent round sampling here. I guess that's the plus side. I mean, obviously he knows that guy's there. Ooh, I thought he was going to shoot him through the wall there for a second. And just place it right on him through the wall. <laughs> this guy's pretty much boned. I gotta say, this guy, he's definitely, I definitely think he's cheating, but he's, he's not being, like, really stupid about it, I guess, if that makes sense. Yeah, look at that. Look at those reaction times. I definitely say that this guy is using a trigger bot, but again, it's pretty hard to tell on 16 tick, but based off what we've seen, you know, those three or four headshots while spraying and, like, not even controlling his recoil. You can tell when someone's not really recoil. Uh, doing recoil control too, just because he wasn't really pulling down and wasn't moving his cross or anything like that. Just kind of keeping it there. Flashbang. I believe his teammate saw the bomb there, so he is rotating. So let's see if he pulls his his sweet skills out here. Oh man. Alright, smoke's down. Let's see if he just sprays them down through the smoke. He's not going to. He's not going to be too obvious, right? So there is a smoke. There's a flash. I mean, everything pretty much is just a headshot. Knows this guy's in apartments. The guy's gonna be saving his goon. Alright, there it is. Yeah, this guy, I mean, you guys might disagree, but I personally think he's hacking. I definitely think he's wall hacking and using aim assistance. I think this should be like the last round, maybe. Oh, he did pull down on that one. So maybe, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> it's still, I think he's using aim assistance, regardless if it's recoil control or not. So he's using that, he's using that. And I don't think he's griefing or using other external assistance. But as always, thank you all very much for watching. See you next time.